Then gotta get it. They ain't see me now. I'm speeding. I see mama slay the mission. Take the time. Take the time. Up and back. Still they hate. I can't hate it. Swore me up. But I'm up. Tiger in the illest blood. I turn them down. Got my crown. Shine up. Gucci bear. Tears they falling. But I wipe them off. Fiji water. I'm the boss. Fuck my feelings. Gotta burn them. You ain't care to hold me. A power struggle. Hold the scruffy. Take the law. Demon time. Gotta wine. Got my turn. Transform. Transform. Then no. 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 What you said? I need my back blown. Pop the coat top. Snap back. Keep in the face. Down in the cat. Bands on ambulance. I'm bouncing back in my pants. Head up. I can't. Anybody? All right, what's good? We on a special Saturday show. You know the vibes. You know we, so we turned up twenty four seven. Y'all know that already. Yeah. What's going on, guys? It's your girl Chastity Snow, aka the Busty Warby, straight out of BK. What's good? All right, what's good? What's good? Let me turn your mic up a little bit so they can get in tune. So welcome, welcome. All right, BK. So you're from BK, right? Yes. What's that? All right, what part? Cause, cause you know certain parts like Queens, we don't, we don't. New York. Okay, okay, in the east. All right, all right. All right, so yeah, so welcome. So number one, tell us a little something about yourself. I see, well, number one, we came in with the song. <laughs> yes, so that is my single from my EP that's coming out soon, which is called Ice Cold Snow, and All right. Broken Busty. Um, I'm 29 years old. I'm an Aquarius. Um, birthday is January 26th. Um, a lot of things that, I mean, one thing that a lot of people don't know about me, um, I do have my bachelor's degree in business administration. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just because person or artist don't mean that they're not educated and getting what they got to get to. So congratulations on that. Thank you. And um, like I said, we came in with the single that you have, but you also are an author. So I tell us a little I something. Am. So, oh. so, so I want to know. I'm, I'm intrigued. Which one came first? Was so, it the author or the rapper? The book came first. Okay, okay. You know, um, because I went through a domestic violence relationship a few years ago, and I wanted to highlight, because I feel like everybody goes through domestic violence one way or another in life, and yes. I wanted to kind of like highlight that. And um, it speaks about my transition. It speaks about me finding love again. Okay. And it just speaks about how I was ostracized by the LGBT community. Because they didn't believe in me. Really? So they didn't believe in... What do you mean by that? Well, you know how if you start off looking a certain type of way, they don't, um, they don't welcome you in with open arms. And I wasn't the softest when I first started. So a lot of people didn't see if... They didn't see it for my transition. So, you know, I really had to push the pen and I had to show, you know, all of these haters and doubters and you know yeah. I had to show everybody you know that I could really blossom into who I am today okay salute you on that salute you on the journey on the progress you know where anything is gonna come with adversity and yes. you just gotta fight through it and you know the strong survive you know what I mean and that's how we salute you that on that. That's most definitely true blood sweat and tears yeah and you're here to tell your story and it's and it's and it's in publication so tell me about Said the process of the book and tell us oh, about the book. The name, what's the name of the book? The book is called Chronicles of a Bad Bitch Named Cece. The transition in me begins. It is a trilogy, so it mm. means that it's three parts to it. Right now, I'm working on uh, publishing my second book, but um, I was actually gonna go through this one sh sketchy, real shady company called Page Publishing. <laughs> <laughs> And I was just like, no, like, first of all, they were asking for too much money and they really didn't give me any type of um, room to choose what I wanted for me. So I went into self-publication Okay. and I was like, let me go ahead and, you know, see how I can publish this myself, even though it took a lot more money. Right. Um, I get everything back. I don't have to pay anybody. All of the uh, profits that I get for my book goes to me, which helps fund my business um, because I also do sell lashes and I'm in the uh, midst of uh, selling merchandise as well. See, look at that. So. Entrepreneur. All right, respectfully, respectfully. All right, now you said it's a trilogy. Mm -hmm. And so, so you said you're working on part two. So part one is like the beginning. Well, I wouldn't say part one is the beginning. Part one is um, 
how, uh, how basically it, it speaks about my transition. So I kind of take you back in time with the second book. Okay. My second book speaks about um, going through depression, anxiety, and suicide as an adolescent. Oh shit! Damn. 